I never thought this is how my night would end. What started as a simple prank on the girls during their sleepover turned into something way beyond what I could have imagined. I guess I should have known better than to mess with them, but who could have predicted they'd take things this far? Now, here I am staring at my reflection in the mirror, hardly recognizing the person looking back at me. Please, can we stop? I pleaded for what felt like the hundredth time. We've been at this for hours now. I want to get this ridiculous outfit off and get back in my guy clothes. But the girls weren't having it. They had me cornered, and it was clear they were enjoying every second of this. Do you really think that after you tried spying on our sleepover you're going to get off that easy? One of them said, her voice dripping with amusement. This is just the first outfit we have lined up for you. And you should be grateful we're not making you go out looking like this. Don't worry, we have plenty more where this came from. Now give us a wink so we can take another photo. I groaned internally but knew better than to argue. I had no idea what else they had planned for me, but it was clear I wasn't getting out of this situation anytime soon. Ugh fine, at least tell me you have the solvent for these breast forms, I asked, feeling the heavy weight on my chest. They're weighing me down, and my back is killing me. That's when the real horror of my situation dawned on me. Solvent. The glue we use doesn't have one. You'll be sporting those puppies for at least a month. Welcome to the sorority. I froze, my mind racing. A whole month. How was I supposed to hide this? How would I explain this to anyone? But as the minutes turned into hours, something strange started happening. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but I began to feel different. Days turned into weeks, and the changes became impossible to ignore. The glue they used wasn't just holding the breast forms in place, it was doing something to me. My body began to soften, curves appearing where they hadn't been before. My once flat chest was now undeniably feminine, and my hips. Well, let's just say they weren't the same either. But it wasn't just physical changes. My thoughts, my emotions, everything felt like it was shifting. The things I used to enjoy didn't appeal to me as much. Instead, I found myself drawn to more feminine activities, like experimenting with makeup and trying on different outfits. At first, I tried to resist it, telling myself it was just the girl's prank getting to me, but deep down, I knew something more was happening. Acceptance. As the weeks wore on, I stopped fighting the changes. It wasn't just about surviving the month anymore, it was about embracing who I was becoming. The girls who had started this whole thing as a joke became my biggest supporters. They helped me navigate this new reality, offering advice and encouragement as I adjusted to my new life. By the time the month was over, I had changed completely, inside and out. The hormones and the glue had done their job, not just altering my body but reshaping my mind. The boy I once was had been replaced by someone new, someone who felt more comfortable and confident in her own skin. And you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. What started as a prank ended up being the best thing that ever happened to me. I had found myself in the most unexpected way, and I was ready to embrace my new life fully. Welcome to the sorority, indeed.